Hey, what's going on devs? Rob Somony is here. Welcome back to AppDev channel. Today, we're gonna create a JavaScript project, Randall Password Generator. So let's use HTML and CSS for create this nice UI and JavaScript for the behavior. When you click on this button, we are gonna get a new Randall password. Actually, this is quite simple. We just add a event listen to the button that you runs a function. You stick to the end of the video because you will learn how to build it by yourself. All right, devs. As always, let's start from scratch. Okay, I'm gonna show you step by step. Let's create our files structure. Okay, index style.css for presentation layer and our main one here, our app.js for the behavior, okay? This one is gonna allow us to get new password. Let me close this for now. And let's have our boilerplate. And here, let's hit tab a couple of times, go to the title, and in the title, let's say random password generator or wherever you want to say here, all right? We need also a link connect our markup to our CSS, all right? And our head tag is done. Let's come in here, close the closing body tag, and let's point it to our external JavaScript file, all right? The boilerplate is done, so now let's go into our markup, okay? It's quite simple, let's have our main div, Let's call that, give it a class of input box. Inside this one, we're gonna have a H2, say random password generator. But this word here, a uh, password generator, we want that to have another color, okay? So let's put that inside a spam so we can style that in CSS, okay? Under this one, we're gonna have a, our input, okay? ID password, we're gonna be using that on our JavaScript, okay? We need also a placeholder, right? Show the user what's gonna have that, okay? Create password. Let's have them side by side here, okay? Randomly, okay, done. And let's now put in side by side and see what we have so far, okay? And yeah, looks like we don't have a lot. I would like to invite you to really, really code along with me because this is the way of learning, okay? Three minutes and our markup is almost done, okay? Now we're gonna create the last element here. Let's create a button so the user can click on it. And let's give the ID of BTN, okay? And we also need on click property, okay? Once we click on this one, we're gonna run this function, get password or whatever name you wanna call it, okay? Another thing we need with this button is a text, okay? So in this case, let's say generate password and yeah, it's done. We are in the realm of CSS, okay? So let's make some art. Okay, let's start by grabbing our universal selector and let's get rid of margin and padding so the website is going to be the same across different browsers like uh, Safari, Google Chrome, okay? All right, this is done. Now, the second thing we're going to do here is put that content right in the middle, right in the center, okay? So let's start out by say mean height is going to be 100 VH. Okay, we're gonna be using Flexbox for that. Okay, the best tool to center elements. Display is gonna be flex, put in side by side. Align item center along the cross axis. And justify content center along the main axis. Okay, for the background color, we want that to be this color here, okay? apply the same style to our input itself okay input box the position is gonna be relative we're gonna be some, we're gonna have some absolute stuff inside of it and the width is gonna be 450 pixels all right 
uh, now uh, stick care of the h2 uh, title okay random password generator app all right remember to give us a like if you like this video okay thanks and for the input here font size is going to be 20 80 pixels okay it's going to be very big let's pick a bluish color 141 80 50 okay and you have this nice title all right and now we want this password generator name this is in a spam to have a different color okay let's grab this color here i would like to express again how important it is to you code along with me okay just watching is not enough if you really want to learn web dev okay so i advise you to code along okay you can pause and code along okay the spawn is done so let's grab the placeholder okay this is great yeah password let's find a call to this one f5c okay ac2 and we have a call that fits our project now moving into the input okay the input itself let's make a couple of change those change here you're gonna see in the password that's gonna be generated using javascript okay the width is gonna be 100 percent of its parent height is gonna be just six pixels okay let's get rid of bother with bother none okay and let's have some margin here okay 15 pixels zero and 10 pixels we also want here to have a background transparency okay as you can see we have this very ugly outline let's get rid of this with outline none so now as you can see we can click and we don't have that ugly outline all right and in here let's have a padding of zero top and bottom 20 pixels left and right font size here is going to be big okay 24 pixels and let's have a space in between the letters okay and the letter space is going to be four pixels box sizing is going to be border box and we also want that to be round around the corner so border radius is going to be eight pixels okay let's also apply a bluish color okay bluish color to the passwords all right we are about to go into the our main part of the project javascript okay but for now let's finish this ui let's now apply some box shadow okay minus four pixels four pixels ten pixels blur and let's pick a color that fits our project okay to 50 to 29 to 23 okay now in set four pixels 10 pixels rgba let's pick the black okay this is the shadow and transparency 0 0.07 okay you can pause if you want and do it okay the import important thing here is you code along and you learn by the end of this video i really want you to know how to make it by yourself all right and you can put that in your portfolio as you can see we we have a nice input here okay it's beautiful there it is shadow and yeah it's pretty beautiful but there is something we can do here we don't want this left space in here in the placeholder we want that just in their passwords okay so input placeholder and let's get rid of this let space okay let spacing is gonna be zero okay as you figure out we are styling from top to bar okay so now let's uh, apply some style to the button the position is going to be relative the cursor is going to be a pointer the user knows that he can click on it let's pick this color here this 
color for the text F A E. Okay. The background color is gonna be a bluish color. Okay, it fits with that random app up there. And the font size here is gonna be also 24 pixels. Let's make it bigger with padding. Okay. So let's apply some display inline block. And now the padding, 10 pixels top and bottom and 15 pixels left and right. As you can see, it's very square. Let's apply some body radius, make it round the corners of 80 pixels. Now the last step before we go into JavaScript, okay? We wanna give some interactivity to our button. Let me show you. Right now, if you click on this button, nothing happens. The user doesn't know that he's click on it, okay? So you want to change two things here. The background color is going to change when he clicks on it, okay? To another bluish color, dark color. And we also want to change the size, okay? So the scale is going to be .98. As you can see, we have this very nice effect when we click on it, okay? Okay, Robson, that's enough. I believe everybody understand that, okay? And another thing we have here, we have to change is the user selector, okay? User select is gonna be none. Okay, now we are ready to go into JS. All right, devs, we are in the realm of JS when the mission really happens, okay? Let's make the this have some behavior, okay? Let's create the function get password and let's have all the numbers, symbols, capital, and regular letters, okay? Let's copy this one. There is a link down below so you can download this one. And let's save it to available call characters, okay? Charles. Okay, once this is done, let's get rid of the spaces in between. Now let's also have a password length and let's set that to 16. And let password equals empty string, okay? This is gonna be generated using JavaScript, all right? Let's loop it through it, okay, for let i equals zero, okay, while i is less than password length, you know that's 16, okay, we want i plus plus, all right, so we want generate a 16 characters password. Okay, I'm gonna loop to it until we have 16. And under this one, I'm gonna have our line of code, okay? Let's use random number. Let's use math.floor. This one is gonna round the number for us, okay? And inside this one, we're gonna have a math.random. It's gonna give us a range between zero, including zero, and less than one. Okay, so we're gonna end up with a round number and let's multiply that by our character's length, okay? Okay, we have the random number and allow me to show you what we have here, okay? It's easier when you can see. Let me log to the console and every time we click on the button, those random numbers are generated, okay? So we First, we create the random number, math flaw, random, and then I show you so you know exactly what you are doing, okay? Okay, and now let's have a variable, okay, password, and let's have a additional assignment. And here, let's have a substring, okay? This is gonna return the part of the string between the start and the end of the index, okay? And let's see here have the number, render number one plus and render number plus one, okay? This is gonna add the value of the right 
to our variable okay so let's see what you have so far here okay log to the console and as you can see we have our password going from one character until 16 characters okay so we have already created our password next step let's put that in the input field okay dev as you saw on our log we have the password now you know how to put that into the input let's use the dom okay document dot get element by id let's get our reference to the password here password and let's extract the value or it is and let's assign that to password now instead of empty password we have our password allow me to show you here every time you click generate password we have a new and render password so that's it for today's devs i really hope you like it if you like it you know what to do subscribe and you also click that little bell down below so you get notified every time i post a new video